Marvel Studios is threatening people who don't like Marvel Studios with 12 TV shows over the next two years. Well, it's a good thing I like Marvel Studios. Man, I'm gonna be eating good. They're gonna feed me up, I'm gonna be real fat. Hansel and Gretel ain't got nothing on me. See, the trick to that opening was I referenced Hansel and Gretel, and a lot of people might not know who they are, but Jeremy Renner was in a live-action reboot of that property. And it's actually one of my guilty pleasures, so I kind of wanted to tie that in there with the feeding me good and um, Hansel and Gretel. Because Jeremy Renner, Hawkeye, so the, the connective tissue there. Anyways, Disney was like, yo, we're ready to announce a lot of stuff. You guys, you guys ready for some content? Here you go. You're going to get all these series we've announced so far. And on top of that, you're getting Ironheart, getting Armor Wars, you're getting Secret Invasion. Um, I'm, I'm probably honestly forgetting so many shows because they announced so much of that investor's call. And it's like, okay, well, this is a good three to four year plan. Thanks, Marvel. Except Disney was like, no. No, we got the Disney investor site where you can go and look at everything, you know, the pamphlets and everything we're telling investors, we're telling you why you should sink your money and your stocks into us. And if you already had some when they hit an all time low over the last decade, just a couple months ago, you're probably finding yourself uh, doing pretty good. Well, as they updated these documents, a lot of people took note of everything that was announced that's coming by the end of 2022. Meaning every single Marvel Studio series that they announced, whether it be She-Hulk, whether it's I Am Groot, Ironheart, Armor Wars, Secret Invasion, Moon Knight, have I said She-Hulk already? She-Hulk if I haven't, Moon Knight, which I think I just said, whatever though, it's all coming by the beginning of 2023. Unless there's a major delay or a setback to production, this is all going to be out within the next year and a half to two years max, which is honestly, that's that's absolutely insane and shocking considering that that's like 15 live action properties or something over the course of the next like two years. And I'm probably honestly underserving that as a whole because I can't remember how many things are coming anymore because they announce so much and they just keep adding new things. But I think what's really interesting about this, which kind of blows my mind, is they're aiming and they're going to get all this out within the next like two and a half years max. And you're looking at 12 new Marvel Studios TV shows over the course of this. And they said this is just the beginning. Like, they're not talking about renewals, which... By the sounds of it, Loki's already, you know, got a second season that they want to pick up and go straight into. And Falcon and Winter Soldier getting spinoffs and all that, which we've heard about. And multiple other things we know for a fact are in development and will be announced down the road. They just haven't done that yet. You start to look at all this and realize that by 2023, 2024, which is literally not that far away... We're probably going to be looking at like, what, 16 to 18 live action MCU properties a year? Jesus.